Hello Year 2 and welcome to the first maths lesson of Term 4. Okay, so today we're going to be doing some addition. So our first sum, oh dear, I think the dog wants to do some addition as well. The first sum is 41 plus 30. Can you think of anything we could draw to help us? Have a go on a piece of paper. What could you draw to help you work that out? 41 plus 30. Pause the video while you have a go. Okay. If you said you could use Deans and draw, you've drawn Deans, fantastic. That is one way you could work out 41 plus 30. So here we've got our 41 and then we're adding 30 more. Okay. Will the answer be the biggest number or the smallest number? Well done if you said the answer will be the biggest number because when we're adding two numbers together, it makes a bigger number. So 41 plus 30, we've got 41, 51, 61, 71. So the answer would be 71. Well done if you've got that right. Okay, the next one, 23 plus 40, what could we draw to help us? Okay, we know now we can draw the Deans to help us. So here we are, look, we've got 23 plus 40. So 23, 33, 43, 53, 63. So 23 plus 40 equals 63. Well done if you've managed to do that one. Okay, let's just move me up the top a bit there. Okay, now have a look at this one. What's different? Can you see what's different with this sum? Hmm. Could it be that the equal sign is at the beginning? Does that matter? Okay, does it matter where the equal sign is? No, of course it doesn't. Okay. We just need to remember that the e where the equal sign is, the answer will go here. So if the equal sign is at the beginning, the answer will go before the equal sign. But it is exactly the same sum. So here we've got 22 plus 30 equals, and then we can work out the answer. We can use the Deans to help us. Okay, so 22, so 10, 20, 21, 22, and then I'm going to add 30. So 10, 20, 30. So 22 add 30. I've got 22, 32, 42, 52 is the answer. Now, because we're good at counting in tens and we know that when we're adding two numbers together, it doesn't matter which number you start with. You can always do it the other way around. 30 add 22. So 30, 40, 50, 51, 52. Because when we're adding two numbers together, it doesn't matter which way we do it because it will always give us the same answer. Okay, I would like you now to pause the video have a go at drawing the Deans and solving the following one. So 49 plus 20 equals. Okay, pause the video and have a go. Okay, so we've got our 49, so I'm going to pinch the Deans from up here. 10, 20, 30, 40, and then nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I've just got enough. So that's my 49, and now I'm going to add 20. Okay. So hopefully yours will look something like that, okay? And then just add them together. 
I'm going to add the tens together first. So I'm going to go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. So the answer would be 69. Well done if you managed to work that one out. Okay. Now, have a look at these two. I would like you to pause the video and have a go at working these out. Now, you might still draw Deans, or you might think of another way that you could work it out. Okay, so pause the video and have a go. Okay, so the first one, 59 add 30, we get a fatter pen. So one, two, three, four, five. Remember when we're drawing our lines of 10, um, we don't need to separate it into the, into the ones, we can just have it as a line. 50, then nine, one, ooh, one, two, three, four, five, ooh, yeah, six, seven, eight, nine. And then add 30, 10, 20, 30. So I'm going to start by adding my tens together. So there's five, so 50, 60, 70, 80. We've got nine there. So the answer would be 89. There we go. You can see Mrs. Brown's terrible writing with the pen. There we go. Okay, and the second one, so we change colour. Okay, it's 27 plus 20, so 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27 plus 20. So I'm going to start with counting my tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40, and there's seven there, so 47. So 27 add 20 is 47. If you worked it out using Deans, that is absolutely fine. It'd be interesting to see if anybody found a different way to work it out. Let's have a look. So here we go. I'm just going to move myself again. Let's come off the pen. There we go. Move myself there. So what is this number track counting in? So look, there's some numbers missing on here. How can we work out what it's counting in? The one that gives us a clue is the here look, because there's two numbers together. So 22, 32. Oh, hang on a minute. I know that's counting in, two, in tens, not twos. Okay, so 22, 32. So then this one would be 42. What would the next one be? 52, okay, 62, yeah, 72, 82, and how we can check it is we know the next one, look, is 92, but hang on a minute, we haven't filled it all in, oh, now we're going to have to count back in tens, so we've got 22, if we're counting back in tens, it would be 12. Because here, look, we've got two tens. We now need, I've got one ten. So if we've got 12, if we count back in tens again, my first number would be two. So we've got two, 12, 22, 32, 42, 52, 62, 72, 82, 92. So we are now counting in tens. Wonder if anybody knows what number would come after 92? Well done, it is 102. Fantastic if you were able to tell me that answer. Okay, I would like you to pause the video now and have a go at filling in the missing numbers on this one. This one's a bit trickier because we haven't got two numbers that are together. Okay, so to give you a bit of a clue. We're going to be looking at the ones. They've both got the same number of ones. 
which will mean that they'll all have seven ones. Okay, pause the video and have a go. Okay, so I've added in the numbers now. So again, it was counting in tens. Check, does yours match mine? Okay, this one was a bit trickier than the first one. So mine says seven, 17, 27, 37, 47, 57, 67, 77, 87, 97. So again, it's going up in tens. And we can check this because look, they've all got seven ones in. Okay, and so we can tell it's going up in tens. Oh, have a look at this one. What's changed here? Yeah, there's no numbers. They're written as words. Because sometimes we have to solve problems where there aren't numbers written. It's written in words just to see how amazing we are at it. So the first one says 12, okay, there's my 12, plus this says 30, oops, it's a bit big, isn't it? 12 plus 30 equals, okay. Now, because we know when we're doing addition, we can start with any number, I'm actually going to start with the 30 because then I've got less to count on. So I've got my 30. Then I'm going to add my 12. So I'm going to add the 10 first. So 30, 40, and then I'm going to add the 2. So it would be 42. Okay. Don't forget, though, sometimes on questions like this, it will ask you to write the answer in words. So you might have to write 42 in words. Let's go on to the next one. Okay. So, 17p plus 40p, what's changed? They're just talking about money now. However, it is exactly the same way of doing it as before, okay? You could do 40p plus the 10p would be 50p, then add the 7. So, it would be 50, 7, don't forget your p sign at the end, okay? And make sure when you're doing your piece sign, you check because sometimes people write it. Here's my 57. Some people write the P sign like this. And then that looks like 579 because you've written a 9 instead of a P. So make sure you get it the right way round. Okay, 38 plus something equals 58. Oh my goodness, they've missed a number out here. How are we going to find this out? What could we draw to help us? Okay, we could draw, have our number track. So 38. And then we need to get to 58. So 38, 48. So if I jump to 48, that would just be 10. I need to jump to 58, so I've added 20 because 38, 48, 58. I've added two tens, so I've added 20. Okay, so today is all about adding multiples of 10 in different ways. Okay, you can use the Deans, you can draw your own number track to help you. So you've got a sheet to do. It's got lots of different ones on, like we've been doing. There might be some written as words, some number tracks, lots of things for you to solve. And then there are two different challenges. Don't forget, only go on to the challenges if you complete all the first sheet and you find it quite easy. If you find the first sheet quite tricky, then have a go at doing some more like that before you move on to the challenge. OK, be great to hear how you get on. Bye for now.